Okay. Here we go. Is Kratom bad? Or good, I guess. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter what it's called. But I'm going to just name it Is Kratom Bad. That's the name of the video, obviously. Okay, let's explore, eh? Okay. All right. So, yes. I'll say it one more time. Is Kratom bad? Um... And this is going to be, this is obviously going to be my opinion. I'm just going to throw information out there and then it's, it's up, it's up to you what you think, but here we go. So yeah, that question, if I'm going to say it again, I guess, is Kratom bad? I wonder how many times I'll say that in this video. We'll see. I guess it's not just a yes or no. I guess, okay, like this, I have nothing written down. This is just one take, whatever. Is alcohol bad? Well, no. I mean, it can be. It depends on who you talk to. Some people, it's really bad for them. Some, some people, it's the worst freaking thing that they could do is drink alcohol, okay? There's other people that they can drink alcohol. In fact, there's people that can drink alcohol every single day and not be alcohol. Like, dude, my, okay, for instance, my dad. My dad, dude, my dad drinks a beer every single night. It's a freaking Steel Reserve beer every night. And, well, sometimes he doesn't finish it. Dude, I don't know why. He, well, he's cheap. He drinks that crap because it's cheap. Real quick, I remember we, like, when I was younger, you know, if you're getting a snack at night or something, you'd see his freaking 211, you know, still reserved in the fridge. And it'd have, he didn't, because he wouldn't, he drinks it real slow. And he, sometimes he wouldn't even, he would, wouldn't even finish it. And he had, he'd have saran wrap over the can. Like, okay, still reserve already sucks. And, like, flat still reserve. <laughs> With saran wrap over the can. Oh, dude. Anyway, okay, okay, that's that's beside the point. But and okay, so there's there's people I, I believe yeah, there's people dude, he's not, I've never seen him drunk. That's the thing. Like my dad hasn't been drunk in probably 30 years. I don't even know how long. But um, but there's people that can just drink sometimes in social outings or whatever on, on a weekend here or there. What whatever it is, okay? So I guess the point is is you know, like it like I said, like, well, is alcohol bad? Like, well, it it can be. But, but it's not, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's what, uh, it's what people do with it or choose to do with it. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, same, same, dude, same thing goes for pot too. I mean, dude, like, I, like for instance, I can drink, I can drink because I don't really like it that much. I don't really love it that much. It's just not, it's just not something I like to do. You know, I mean, like there's times where I enjoy a few beers. Sure. But, it, you know, but with pot, for me, if I smoke pot or, or, you know, if I'm, you know, getting the, you know, I live in Oregon, dude. You can get, like, anything and you can get r super, super strong, you know, extract and stuff. And, uh, you know, if I start using that, dude, it, it's, I'll, I'll just go for it, man. I just, I, 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 I'll start to use it every day. Okay, I'll use it as much as I can. I mean, you know, seriously, like I, so... Like with me, like dude, like then there's people that just they 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 use it sometimes or for you know for bed for sleep or something or or whatever you you know what I, you get what I'm saying where me it 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 you know like even it just it doesn't it turns it always turns into way more than that with me okay so so that's just as an example like it can be dude it can be that kind of crap with anything okay well with kratom it's the same freaking thing I mean it's no it it's not. It's not bad, okay? It is it depends on who you are. If you are an addictive person if you if you're someone that has an addictive personality and especially if you're somebody that has struggled with opiates before, it's probably not a good thing. I mean, it's probably a bad thing. Yes, there are exceptions. I I understand that. But again, I talk to and my personal experience, people I know, and people I've talked to and met through here, it's generally not that way. They don't they don't use it responsibly, okay? They usually end up getting completely freaking in the crate and pickle, okay? And 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 just physically dependent on that. And that's that's the thing too, is it you know, it, it it's it's something that you can get physically dependent on. Straight up. I hear people say, Oh, if you use this strain or this strain, I did that too. And yes, there's a little difference. One's more stimulating than the other, whatever. They, they both are going to get you physically dependent, okay? It's just like there's other opiates. They're all opiates, okay? Kratom's still Kratom, okay? Does that mean, 
You know, well, morphine's better than uh, oxy. It's just different. There is different chemistry, but it, it's going to do the same thing. Or suboxone, a method. I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so, so that would be okay. It, it, it could be maybe bad for if you are an addictive, got an addictive personality and have trouble with opiates and, and whatever. You know, there are people that use it recreational, just sparingly. But you know, and then there, but then there's people they kind of do a. You know, I, I know that there's some people that are like, well, I use it three or four times a week or something, and that's you know, it, and and you know, they're not using it every single day. But I'm just telling you, that's that could be dangerous too. I know that some people, I'm you know, it, it's just a warning or you know, just be advised, okay. Um, but again, there's people that can use kratom responsibly, okay. Uh, that's just the facts, okay. That that's there there are people that do, okay. Um, but be aware of it, okay, because. You know, as as I said, and as I've said in other videos, uh, yes, you can get physically dependent and feel like crap and, and just, you know, whatever. But uh, uh, it really depends on uh, the person and your intent and what you want to do or, or, you know what I mean? So, anyway, uh, so, and well, and something else too, actually, real quick, uh, because, you know, just the question, is, is Kratom bad? Um, the thing is too, is it, it needs to be studied more. There needs to be more information out on it. And like, for instance, there was a guy on this channel commenting the other day and he just like straight up told this lady, you can't overdose on Kratom. Dude, how can you say that? That is such a factual statement. I don't know. There hasn't been enough, I mean, and it's interesting because you can go, there's report, like, people have overdosed on it. Like, it's, it's fact, okay? There's been cases in Asia where it's used a lot, uh, and there's been cases, dude, in, in Canada and the United States, dude. Talking to a guy in, from Germany today, uh, actually, that's freaking on Kratom, and he's freaking just tired of this crap and wants off of it and stuff, and he's, and he's struggling to get off, but he's going to taper. But anyway, uh, so, so I just, you know, just... I guess the question is, yeah, is it bad? Well, it, it, it could be, I mean, as far as, you know, or, or, you know, but it also couldn't be, or, or it depends on how you use it. But, but I guess what I'm saying is, you know, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying really, but just, I don't, I guess I was talking about, uh, saying, you know, if, if you can overdose on it and, and the thing is, is, you know, there's going to be some people that say, no, you can't, but dude, you can base you can kind of overdose on just about anything. I mean, seriously, you can take, Tylenol's harmless, right? Unless you take a bottle of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, you know what, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, alcohol is, is dude, yeah, if you have a beer or something, you, but you, you can, you can get alcohol poisoning. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, marijuana, okay, marijuana is an exception, okay? That's freaking, it's crazy. You just like get all, you just go to sleep, but, uh, and you wake up though. You wake up, that's, that's the key, because the other stuff will make you go to sleep, but you won't wake up. But, um... But, but the thing is, is it needs to be studied more. Okay. And, and I don't, I don't want it to be illegal. I don't, you, you know, nothing like that, but it does need to be studied more. Cause dude, I'm telling you right now, I freaking guarantee you that there's some amazing property about Kratom. If it's used in the right way, that it's a freaking, it, it, it has its place. It has its freaking place in whatever it's just like with with marijuana they're finding more stuff out with the cbd and stuff and i mean it's like yeah you guys should have been studying this for the last freaking 50 100 200 years it's freaking retarded sorry oh man that's not politically correct i don't care but uh but it is it's stupid just study the stuff and figure out what it is i mean and, and you know sometimes i get creating people and they're like well, it's a plant. It's good. It's like, yeah, there's poisonous plants, dude. There's, it's like, so I got to take my kid out. Why? Dude, there's, there's poisonous berries that grow where I live. Take her up. Whoa, it's a berry. It's a plant. Here, have some of these, Morgan. Well, no, they're poisonous. But I'm sure those same poisonous berries, when studied and dissected and whatever, there might be an, an there might be an antidote to something, or maybe in in in, in micro doses or something can help with fibromyalgia or, or you know what I mean, like. There's always something there, like God put all this stuff here for a freaking reason, okay? Like I even think the poppy plant has its freaking place. It does. It does not have its place for 20 and 30 year olds and 40 year olds that have no freaking disease or anything to just be taking it every day. I mean, seriously, like there's no freaking need. I mean, it just, 
it's going to help. Yeah, it's going to help your pain for a while. And then you're just going to get freaking used to it anyway. And then it ain't going to, you're still going to hurt. Everyone I, everyone I know that is on pain medication for pain, they still hurt. We all know that. So it's just this, it's just this, it's this bull crap. It's bull crap. Okay. But so I just want to make that clear, like to like, you know, Kratom's not just, oh, it's just good because it's natural. It's a plant. Well, no, maybe it needs to be taken differently or you kind of get what I'm saying. And it can still get you physically dependent and stuff like you just be aware kind of of the both sides. Okay. Like, or, or you kind of, I don't know, man, maybe I didn't do a good job at, at doing both sides, but, uh, but I guess the question is, is it bad? Yes and no. I mean, Kratom, no, is it, Kratom is not bad. It's it's what you decide to do with it, really, and that's that's my opinion. You know, I'm very free will libertarian guy. You know, uh, and I just wish the stuff would be studied more, and there'd be more information, and you wouldn't have people making just these crazy statements that just telling people you can't overdose and you can't get physically dependent, and you just got to do this and you got to do that. You know, because it's just. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how you know for. I mean, there just hasn't been enough study and stuff. I, that's a, that's a scary statement. That's a freaking, that's not. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So I guess the long answer is, like I said just a minute ago, is yes and no. So there you, there you go. I don't know. This video probably sucked, but I don't really care. So anyway. All right, God bless all y'all, vivo victory, God bless and salute.